our journeys and we are here at Epcot for what we're calling our bonus day. Carrie is bringing over the eggnog donut from the donut box. Look at how amazing that looks. All right, so we're trying the first snack. Let's go ahead. I think it's got like ginger snaps on top, cinnamon icing. I already one more bite to actually get to the eggnog, but already, <laughs> already I'm making a mess. But also, this tastes really good. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's real good. All right. Definitely recommend this one, guys. So, what do you think, Carrie? It's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is definitely recommended. It's huge, and it's only $5 here at the Donut Box, so definitely recommend it. On to the next one, let's go. Next up, we have Chestnuts and Good Cheer Holiday Kitchen. And we, of course, that's just for curious. We got chestnuts. We got chestnuts. And then we got alcoholic hot chocolate and alcoholic eggnog because you know, if you watch my channel, that's how we do. And look, there's Jack and Sally in my new bag. All right, let's go ahead and try them. I'm gonna double fist, guys. Let me go ahead and try this. It's eggnog with peanut butter whiskey. Very, very good. I don't know if I taste the peanut butter that much, but it's good eggnog. Very good eggnog. Um, I had some too. It was good. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's why it's a little bit down. <laughs> I typically tried some earlier, but I didn't really. really no, it's okay. <laughs> All right. Now the hot chocolate. It's hot cocoa with peanut butter whiskey. It's hot. Whipped cream. Very creamy. You can taste the peanut butter in this. This is good. That's Ooh. Good. Carrie, I'm eating the candy pecans. No! Ugh. Oh. Oh. Mm. Alright, now I'm going to try a test yeah. oh, How do you eat this? I don't know. Can you just bite it? Yeah. It's roasted. Do you need to peel it? I think I peel them, but I'm just trying to get crack it open. They, they seem a little harder to crack, guys. Alright. I thought it was sugar. And it's salt. Makes sense. They are freshly roasted. You literally go up to somebody and as they're roasting them. It's good. It's a nice little snack. Something a little bit different, you know. So, they have a bunch of different candied and roasted um, nuts over, over in that same section. So, yeah. Okay. On to the next one. Quick disclaimer. Um, so, Still tasted good, but as you can see, we have one left here. The ones that were harder to open, like the first one I grabbed, um, obviously are not as cooked, but then there's other ones that are really, really cooked. So just keep that in mind. If they look really open, they're more cooked, taste really good. The other ones are, I'm not bitter, but they just, they're not as good, I guess you could they're say. Harder. Yeah, they're harder. But other than that, still yummy, still a nice little snack to have, away from all the extra sweets we were gonna be having. <laughs> Next up is Emily Kalikimaka. You can see Carrie's shirt. Which I was supposed to have my own version of it, and I yes, don't. Yes, we were you know. supposed to match. Yeah, my bad. I have another stitch shirt, but anyway. So we got the Lami Lami salmon, and we got the Kalua pork, and we got the melon breeze. Look at that. Made to go with the refreshment first. This is the melon breeze. Ooh. <laughs> Tastes tropically. Has spice rum in it. I mean, honestly. I don't think I would recommend getting it. It's not bad. It's good. It's good. But it tastes like any other tropical drink. Yeah, so, I didn't think it was that great. Yeah, it's a little I might have sampled it. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, now we're going to try this. So this is, like, I think purple sweet potato and with, uh, like, you know, sweet pork. Looks like it got, like, I think, like, papayas or something on it. Let's see. This is good. Ooh. I was hesitant because I actually don't like pulled pork, but... How they described it, it sounded pretty good. It's not overly sweet or anything. It's, it's more on the savory side, which I actually like more. I'm excited. That's very good. I like this, this one's good. Very, very good. Nice texture and everything to it. But anyway, I actually was looking forward to this one because I love salmon. I used to hate it growing up, but I love it now. And I love like, you know, like sashimi, all that kind of stuff. It's raw salmon. Tastes really good though. 
I'm really bad chill. Mm. All right, food here, delicious. Um, I've heard good things about their, um, it's like a coconut prep pudding. That's good here too. I, I just, we didn't get it because there's the coconut on it. I wasn't worried about it, but definitely recommend this booth. Just maybe get like the pineapple wine which we've had before, that one's good. Don't get this drink, stick with the food. All right, um, Carrie, I'll let her try it and then we'll be on to the next booth. So what did you think of the food? Pretty good. You like the that? meat was a little dry actually, but it wasn't bad. Yeah. Um, the salmon was good. I'm not a huge fan of raw salmon, but it was good. Yeah. Um, and then the and drink. It tasted like a drink you get at some like pool bar. Yeah. So don't recommend the drink. Generic. Yeah tropical pool bar drink. <laughs> yeah. And if you guys remember, if you've seen my previous videos, Carrie is the real, Carrie is the Simon. I'm the Paula. So <laughs> now you have both opinions of the, the food. But either way, would you recommend this booth as far as the food goes? Yeah. I mean, like if, if, if this stuff sounds interesting to you, give it a try. Yep. Okay. We're on to the next journey. Let's go. Here we are in France. They have a macaron lollipop and a salmon and Napoleon. And then I, of course, because I'm an alcoholic, got the spiced punch. Woo, woo, let's go. So first I'm trying the frozen pumpkin um, spiced punch here. It's good, and it's good, but it's very subtle. Um, I could go without it. Um, but it's nice since it's like a hot day because it's nice and icy. I've had better, put it that way. But this is what I was really, really looking forward to. Go ahead. You know what? I'm going to try it like a sandwich. Yeah, I was. I wouldn't use a fork. Mm. Mm. This is good. Very, very, very good. If you don't like smoked salmon though, you would not like it. It tastes like smoked salmon with cheese, like a green cheese. <laughs> and now, I think I might be nice and let Carrie be the one to try this first. This is the one that Carrie wants. You go, Carrie, you try. All right. Okay, Carrie, let's make a mess eating that. It's like attached to the cardboard. Oh, God. Oh, it's good. It's good? I think it's like chocolate and peppermint. Ah. It's got a thick chocolate Ooh. It's good. Sounds good. So, as per usual, fr French uh, booth over here mm. is good. But I think we're going for the food over the drinks. And you know I love my drinks, but just saying, guys. Okay. Let's on to the next. We're here at the China Pavilion. Ta da! So, I got beef noodle soup. It's beef shank, braised beef shank, green onions and noodles of course so let's go ahead i'll try some meat some beef shanky i'm putting here i didn't even have homemade chili oil the broth is already good i've already tried it mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> i think she likes them this is one of my favorites like if i don't feel good sad I'm cold, I feel sick, I feel drunk, like kind of over. Beef noodle soup. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's a cure for everything. Um, yeah, so I'll, I, it tastes good. It, it, it tastes very much like beef noodle soup. It is a little bit one of the more expensive food items at like almost $10. But yeah, definitely good. Um, as far as the drinks here in China, now they have the Kung Fu Master again, which is like a one they always have. But then and, um, they also have this one that's like with amaretto, um, which I can't remember the name of it, but it's a coffee dish. So I didn't get that one. This one though, um, is like peach schnapps and pina colada mix. It's the last one they have. Um, I haven't had this one before. What's, what was the name of it? Let's see. I can't remember the name, guys. Let's see what it was. The Lucky, the lucky Mo. That's what it is. It's the Lucky Mo. Lucky, yeah. Come on, I think it's the Lucky Mo. Yeah, 
Mm. I like this. This one's good. It's, it's subtle. It's not over the top, but it's good because it's, I guess, a pina colada mix, peach schnapps. So it's pretty good. And you can't taste the alcohol. It's dangerous, but that's China for you. But we're now about to see a performance. So perfect timing. We're going to go ahead and enjoy that performance. Maybe I'll show us a brief clip of it. And then we'll be heading over to our next pavilion, maybe Mexico. <laughs> Hi guys, so we just went to the Mexico Pavilion and we got the pomegranate and the horchata, horchata. Uh, margaritas. Yeah, so we've already started tasting them, but I'll have another sip again. I don't like it. It's gross. Yeah, Carrie, what do you think of yours? Have, have a sip. It's have a okay. Sip. Have a sip. No, no, let's hmm. see. It's okay. Yeah. That's yeah, about it. yeah. Um, Better so, than that. Yeah, uh, and I, I don't know if you've seen, like I said, if you guys have watched my previous videos, this always happens to us. Everyone's like, oh, the, the ones in Mexico are so good. So this good. is proof right here that it's all up to individual opinion because we never really like it, unfortunately. So, something to keep in mind. Am I still gonna drink it? Yeah, duh. But it's definitely not my favorite. So. <laughs> But that is it for Epcot today. But like I said, this video is continuing on for tomorrow. So let's get going, guys. Cheers. We are now in Japan. Um, so we are trying now the sushi tree. I'm so focused. The sushi tree. Really cute display. Very much like the display of this. Very cute. Very cool. Let's see what tastes like. And crunchy crunches. The garland is spicy mayo. It's like the, kind of like a yum yum sauce, but spicy. Mm. And if you don't like like raw sushi, you would still like this because it's literally cream cheese and crab. Mm. My good. kind of sushi. Yeah, very good. Now, a little parch. I'm gonna have some Japanese Christmas punch. Refreshing. So the Christmas punch is um, a plum wine with cranberry juice, um, lemon, and I think it has another like Japanese drink in there as well. So that's in that. Now, there also is this uh, drink that has I think like yuzu and such in it, and it's got boba. Boba. but good very good this one is non-alcoholic so if you have kids it's such with you because i know we drink a lot of alcoholic drinks this is actually non-alcoholic so it's a nice little fun little thing it's definitely kid friendly so i definitely recommend that one now the last thing to try here mm. is like a mochi cake which means it's like a rice cake for those who are not familiar so i'm gonna go ahead and try this This is like a green tea, green tea mousse Ooh. with the rice cake and everything. The mousse is very bitter, so something to keep in mind. But it doesn't taste bad. I, th I think it tastes good. It's just it's not overly sweet, so you have to go into it realizing this is not a super sweet. It's just something more um, very light. But definitely like the tree the most, I think. And then probably the, this drink from the tree. Very kid friendly, very friendly for people that, you know, aren't as adventurous but still want to try things a little bit. So, yep. Okay, on to the next booth. Let's go. The Duruma is like a good luck charm. As you can see, it has no pupils in his eyes. The custom among Japanese is to make a wish and paint in the left eye. I made a wish on my own doll here. Then, if your wish comes true before the end of the year, 
you must paint in the other eye. Mm. I'm still waiting for my wish to come true. <laughs> but what if your wish doesn't come true before the end of the year? Well, that's okay, I guess. You can always try again next time because I've got lots of Daruma dolls for sale. Eat a shy to shy. I've got little Darumas, big Darumas, all kinds of Daruma dolls for sale. Eat a shy to shy. Thank you. His journey was difficult, and oftentimes the roads that he traveled was plagued with bandits. But he had no weapons. How could he protect himself? The answer was in the teachings of Buddha. Listen, my disciples, if the body is in poor health, then the spirit will also be weak. Thus, Duruma developed the system of exercise to keep the mind and body healthy and to deal with the bandits. The system exercise traveled all the way to Japan, practiced with empty hands. It was called mm -hmm. kara, meaning empty, mm -hmm. and te, meaning hand. <laughs> Years later, Duma went to a temple at the top of a great mountain where he meditated. For nine years. Can you imagine remaining motionless for nine years? I can't even stay still for nine minutes. We are here in Italy. You can see here. Italy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I have. <laughs> it's salmon tartare, but basically it's like a salmon uh, uh, a la Sicilia, Sicilian uh, push pup. Salmon, salmon push pup. You can see here salmon a la Siciliana. Siciliana, whatever. <laughs> it's a salmon push pup. You enjoying good. it? <laughs> That's good. I'm glad you like your salmon push pup. <laughs> I had so much salmon, guys. So much salmon. It's good though. Yeah. Okay. I do like this. If you like salmon, it's good. Um, I probably would say though, this is very similar to the one in Hawaii. So go for the Hawaii one probably more than this. That's the only thing I would say. But other than that, it's good. If you gave her a great gift. So why do I wear this? Who cares what they say? Oh, those bad witches. Should I hide from the bad witches? No. No, I should not, huh? I am not going to hide. No, because you have given me the courage. The courage to be true to myself and to follow my own star, huh? Ah, I do not want to hide. I want to spread joy, huh? So I will leave you with my version of a saying that we have here in Italia. Natalia viene una volta e l'anno. Chi non è a profetita, eh, tutto va a suo danno. It means uh, Christmas comes once a year. Anyone who doesn't make the best of it, they're lost, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will make the best of it, will you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Buon Natale! Buon Natale! Buon Natale. Buon Natale. Buon Natale.